My name is Michael Brown. I've been working with Eric Cantona for the last six years on this exhibition which we call From Moss Side to Marseille. I'm from Moss Side, Eric from Marseille. And this is our connection. So as you can see, there's an image of Maradona here in the shape of a, a, a image of the shape of a coffin. But I painted this three months before he passed away. I was on the painting for about nine months before he died. Uh, but he's an amazing character, amazing figure, an amazing symbol for Argentina. And uh, when Eric gave me this name, because he loves he loves Maradona, obviously himself as many people do, um, because of the way he stood up for people, he stood up for principles, he stood up against many odds. And so as a consequence of this, I just had to get this character out of the two sides of him. And um, I really wanted to show his, his portrayal, well, partly in relation to the Falklands War and the World Cup. And I brought the two images together from obviously the seat of power, Parliament's Big Ben, and then the image of the, of the World Cup in his hand. And this was a juxtaposition again of two different takes, whereas in the one hand, it shows Maradona in kind of celebration, and on the other hand, it shows Maradona in pain, the burden of religions, etc., put on his shoulders, and the population had put so much onto him. It's very important for him to um, try to be someone to everybody because he was a character with, laden with expectation and he fulfilled those things for many people. So, what we have is here you now is uh, the image of him with the, carrying this burden of this huge cross, or two crosses, and then the, in front of an image of Houses of Parliament, or Big Ben, with the um, lots of coffins stacked up and lots of loss of life. Um, there's, a, there's fireworks in the, fa in the background in the far distance, which either look like explosions or they look like celebrations of, you know, for one perspective or the other perspective, which, which way you're looking at it. The, the, the cross is melting into tears, his tears in some regards, an Argentinian tears. There was lots of young troops lost in, in, that, in that war. And um, we have Im images here of even the, the, uh, the Holy Lance with a Union Jack on it, but on the lance there's blood and also oil. Um, so we've got images of money and loss of money. So you can see here there's, there's money falling down, which would have looked like, um, well, it was from another painting, as wood chips, wood shavings, as Jesus as a carpenter. So there is an image of a kind of Jesus-like pose here of a crucifixion. But what we have on the right is Margaret Thatcher with her shoes off in Houses of Parliament on Downing Street. And on the left, we've got Maradona in a wheelchair later in life. So this moment captures the moment he scored the goal, but the time on the clock when he scored his magical goal, not the controversial goal. And it shows a particular moment of, of his, his revenge. And um, we see these locusts flying around the painting, which are kind of, for me, like fodder, loss of life. On, on mass and there's always coffins stacked up in the seat of power. They're all like cheap wooden coffins with Salvador Dali um, crucifix images in there. Uh, again, referencing loss of life and religion. He's one of a very complicated character, but when I've read his book and about his life, there's two characters. Obviously, there is, there is Diego, who is the, the youngster who is very gifted and he's just a man himself with his family. Then there was the Maradona character who was the one surrounded by con controversy over his, in his times in, uh, in Italy, in Naples, etc., and his activities and the pressures on his life and, and the times he got into trouble with the law, etc. So there was kind of a, a split personality going on, or two personalities of his persona, which he had to create separately so it wouldn't even destroy his, his personal life. So we have um, a complicated character here who had, you know, to fit two roles, he has his family, the love of his family, and then the activities of people around him and the swamping of, of fans around him which almost suffocated him uh, and in, his, in, his, in his game. So yeah, this is the player, but there's also the, this, the, the sports personality, the figure of international interest, which the media, again, playing judge and jury in a biblical way, um, were you know, throwing aspersions at him left, right and centre and putting pressure on his life because he was so high profile. The, the, the media were following the public persona of him when he was, he was famous in, you know, in Naples. So he's, he's a complicated character, but um, obviously, you know, people would say that's divisive, but it's how this, this, this exhibition is about how far you divide things to extremes. And, and uh, 
I, I don't know if he's extremely divisive, but if you can call it that, some people will say he is, but to me, he wasn't extremely divisive. But I think media coverage was trying to look for this extremism in his life and uh, to make it more colourful and make it more newsworthy. So I find that, you know, the man himself just loved the game and loved his people and loved what Argentina, Argentina meant to him.